this video, we're going to go through this small toolbox that if you've seen in my previous video of tool tower, whatever I can't fit in that thing is in this thing. So we're going to go through it. Now I'm borrowing this toolbox from somebody, so I didn't want to weld it onto that, and I figured it'd already be heavy enough. That thing, that thing is a pain to move around. I got a top drawer, a bunch of small metal droppings and some small scrap stuff. I made all these little trays for like, you know, because you can never, there's not really a good way to keep these bits other than just having one place where they can all be. So that's what this is. Spark plug tools and everything. Uh, this is more like a file cabinet. Bits for my electronic rotary tool, you know, the Dremels, and some chain tools, and some chain, roller well, chain. Files, you know, wood chisels, some steel pipe, and some water brushes. This is the other half of my socket set. If you watch my tool tower video, Alright, here's a bunch of blow molded cases. Got my chain tools, my drill bits, some uh, specialty bits, more drill bits, tap and die set, and a step drill kit, which is super handy. This is all my electronic wiring goodies. I mean, if it's electronic, it has something to do with wiring something on vehicles. Um, there's a good chance it's in here. And some other miscellaneous stuff. Nine device and uh, speed square. And up top is a little bit of a cluster. Uh, wire wheels, the cone ones. Uh, some conduit left over from my camper build. And uh, on the back here, I store my mobile job box, some artwork. So once again, thanks for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all that other stuff, and uh, catch you on the next video.